Hey guys, what is going on? It is Justin from Bonix Entertainment, and welcome to this week's Zero Location video in Destiny 2. I'm sorry that it's coming out a little bit late. Uh, as I said, I'm going to be late on that, so, uh, and luckily I was able to get it done today. So, this week, Zer is on Titan, and if you come all the way to Titan on the rig, I believe it is, is where you want to spawn. You're going to come all the way down here, past where the servitors spawn over there, and all those fallen. And you want to come into this building right here. So you can run around and go into this doorway, and Zer is right here. So Zer this week is selling his Iso Chronicle Ingram up here, the Fate Ingram. And remember, this will give you an exotic you do not already own on that character. So it's either going to be whatever character armor that whatever character you're on so if it's a titan warlock or hunter it's going to be armor for that specific character or it's going to be a weapon from the new dlc once you have completed all of that it's just going to drop ones that you already have so that way you know you can move on to the next character get their armor and so on and so forth for the Warlocks, he is selling the Wings of the Sacred Dawn. What this does is whenever Dawnblade is equipped, so this means you have to be a Dawnblade Warlock, which is the Solar Warlock. Uh, whenever you aim down your weapon sights while in midair, it will suspend you there for a short period of time, meaning that you're going to aim down your weapon sights while mi midair, and then these bright solar wings are pretty much going to come out of your back and just show everyone you're right there but it's going to make you hover there for a while and then precision hits will extend the effect so if you get a lot of precision hits with doing this you're going to continue just staying afloat up in the air this is pretty nice for pve uh just so you can get off the ground however it is not that good at all for pvp for PvP, I highly recommend against this just because it shows everyone where you are whenever you're floating, you don't have cover, it's not really all that great. For Zer's Weapon of the Week this week, he saw the Telesto. Now the Telesto, its perk is it has uh, projectiles that whenever you fire it, it's going to detonate delayed. So this means you're going to fire it it's going to shoot out these projectiles and then it's going to attach onto a surface or an enemy and then explode it's it's really nice because this essentially turns the telesto into a long range fusion rifle meaning that as long as you can hit your target with one of those it's going to do the same amount of damage as if the target was right up next to you for one projectile uh, also, multi-kills with this weapon immediately reload your equipped kinetic and energy weapons from your reserves, which is really nice, meaning that you don't have to reload, uh, so that's nice to have. And for the Hunter class, he's selling the Frosties. Now, the Frosties, uh, honestly, I really do enjoy using the Frosties. They're a lot of fun to use, and they're really nice in Crucible. Uh, so it increases your grenade melee and dodge regeneration while you are sprinting so this means whenever you're sprinting you're going to get a little buff down in the bottom left that makes your grenade melee and dodge abilities recharge a little bit faster and then dodging increases your sprint speed so whenever you dodge you're going to run a little bit faster this is really nice to use in crucible because there's a lot of running in crucible whenever you run you regenerate those things a lot quicker meaning you're going to get to use those a lot more for the time class he is selling the eternal warrior helmet now the eternal warrior helmet you gain an overshield when activating this pattern this means you're going to be harder to kill whenever you go into your fists of havoc it's going to give you basically an extra full health bar for enemies to have to take down while you're in your Fist of Havoc. And now in Destiny 2, whenever Fist of Havoc is a roaming super, you can use the slam and then keep running around and slam at other places. 
this is really nice because you have that extra amount to where it's going to be harder to kill you. So that's it for Destiny uh, 2, sir. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys got what you wanted from your ISO Chronicle Ingram. If you are looking for the Destiny 1 Zero Location video, there's a link down in the description below on where you can go to view that. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. And remember also, I almost forgot, um, remember also that uh, it's highly probable that I won't be able to do it next week or the next coming weeks for about uh, three or five weeks. So the easiest way to find Zer on Destiny 2 is whenever, I'm gonna show you guys real quick. If you pull up your map to everything, destinations, just kind of going through each of the places and then Zer for the tower is gonna to be right up here past Dead Orbit. He'll always be there for the tower. For Nessus, um, he is going to be over in, uh, I'm trying to remember where he is. Nessus. I think he's up in the Watcher's Grave? Probably? He's... Anyway, you'll see a Zer icon for Nessus. It's been a while since I've been to Nessus. Um, for Io, Io, he is going to be up here in the Giant Scar. Uh, for Earth, he is going to be uh, down in the Winding Cove up here. For Titan, he is where he is. And remember, you can also put a little marker on Zer so that way you can find him a little bit easier. And then for Mars, he ha I don't think he's spawned on Mars yet. Yeah, he hasn't spawned on Mars, nor has he spawned on Mercury. So uh, those are the those are all the places that Zer can spawn. So I hope you guys uh, the best of luck in finding Zer while I'm gone. I'm sorry that I'm going to be gone for a little while. It's just that I won't be in a place that I can really do these videos for a little bit. So thank you all for understanding that. And if I can, I will definitely try to make the Zer videos for you. But if I cannot, I'm terribly sorry about that. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.